<laughs> He's thinking of you, Arthur. I'm a good, really good son, that's all it is. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi I always just get in here. I know it. I know it. Okay, well, we don't want to do that. Um, hey, uh, you just got back from your Bible study, and I th think it was good. You know, I'm always happier when I get back. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah. I hadn't you know thought why? about that. Because you study the Bible? No. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think it's that. Oh. Well, it's probably. No, because you come I, home to somebody that's got the meal plan. That's right. Uh, I knew it. I knew no, it. It's because right. I, I love people. Yes. And so I get energized yes. by being around people. Yes. 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 Oh, that's but good. it is also because I'm the only one that doesn't have to go home. And cook. And cook. No, I love it. The Do you brag one. about that to them? No, but I need to. You need to. Yes, no. I need to brag oh, about you it. You girls are not even <laughs> lucky like I am, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's right. Well, anyhow, what I'm doing for you tonight is a very simple, I'm trying to keep this summer simple thing going. And I did tomato sandwich and tomato galat yeah. last time. Did you like that oh, sandwich? Oh, man, that was so good. <laughs> I love it. Mmm. Mm. Mm. In fact, I, I've got some more uh, heirloom uh, tomatoes that I'm going to make. I thought about this today. I'm going to make myself another sandwich Tomato maybe for sandwich. tomorrow afternoon. I just love it. Anyhow, the other thing is I'm going to do this simple tonight. I found uh, Ina Garten, I think, did this uh, at one time I saw it. But it's a simple spring greens kind of uh, carbonara, pasta carbonara. And... Um, I'm using a number of ingredients, but I've got uh, uh, sweet peas, some peas, fresh peas, or you can use frozen. I've got some sweet peas, not cut yet, but I'm going to julienne them on the long side. I've got some fresh <laughs> asparagus. Yes. I'm going to cut that up. I've got um, some Parmesan cheese. <laughs> I've got two eggs and two yolks, so four things all together here. I've got heavy cream. We'll put that together, and I've got some scallions. And this is all going to go into this, oh, and the pancetta, forgot about that. It's going to go into this beautiful one dish, one thing, run easy deal, um, this spring green uh, pasta carbonara. So that's what I'm going to do. So and it goes really so fast. It's not really a salad. It's, it's not a like salad. A no, no. Dish. It's a hot dish. Yeah, yeah no. it's, a, it's a pasta dish. Okay. In fact, I was thinking about it when I was getting the, all this ready. Our friends just got back from Rome, Bob and Joanne. And they've been there for two months yeah. in showing all these pictures of all the eating and the fancy. I would love to have them here right now yes. and make this for them and let them tell me that this isn't as good as, if not better, than what they had over there. So, well, I'll call her and let her yeah, know. Yeah, call her and let her let know. You know. So here we go. I'm going to cut this down. Okay. And I'm going to get my water boiling because we've got to put the spaghetti in there. And while that's getting ready to boil, uh, I'm just taking these, uh, I took the bottoms off of the uh, asparagus, and I'm just going to take and put these into thirds. We want them sort of bite-sized. I think start with the head here first, actually. And we'll just cut it like this, cut it like this, and oh, I'm gonna do force right there. There it is, right there. Uh, what we'll do, let me put this in this bowl, and we'll get the, those going in in a short little bit along with the sweet peas. And I got these at my grocer. And I'll tell you what, I did that one recipe soon, not too long ago for my uncle and uh, aunt that came to yes. visit and all that. And I, I, I need to look that back up again because I want to do that this um, this summer again because that is so good that with that delicious. shrimp and pasta. Oh my goodness. And but snap peas. It had snap peas in it. These are sweet peas. You could use, you honestly, you can use snap peas. But just take these things, I stack them, makes it easier, get more done that way, and uh, julian them, them, julian them, ah, uh, can't speak today, but do it on the lengthwise if you would. It's going to be, again, easy to cook, easy to eat, and these things are just so good. In fact, I had some leftover of snap peas for you in the fridge. So, so if you want to make yourself a salad, I know you like putting both peas and and uh, uh, snap peas or whatever on, and they are good. They use these a lot in Asia, uh, things that I usually, when I'm over there, I get this, and that's how I like them. I don't care for them raw as much as I do like them cooked a little bit better, and particularly in those bowls that you get, you know, of 
the broth and oh my goodness. I like them raw. And you like them raw. I, I know dip you them do. Like a veggie. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. probably a good thing, like in ranch or something mm -hmm. or a vegetable dip. Mm -hmm. I was thinking too of other recipes to do this summer uh, that you might be interested in. And I do have a number of them pulled uh, to do that I'm, uh, I've looked for and going to do some because I want to make the summer cooking for you guys very quick, very easy, very um, uh, not uh, taking over a lot of your kitchen time or whatever or even heating the kitchen up. And I'm, you know, using my induction plate here to get my water boiling and I used it earlier for just a few minutes to get the, uh, the uh, pancetta uh, nicely browned. And by the way, on the pancetta, can I tell you this? Uh, I do it at Publix. They, sir, they sell it, excuse me, at the deli counter. You can buy it prepackaged, but all the prepackaged stuff is usually very thin sliced. And that's just not going to work in most of these carbonara um, uh, recipes and, and anything else that you would do where you need some really heft to your uh, pancetta or whatever you're using. And the other thing, I was talking to the butcher behind the deli department, and he said, hey, Mr. David, do you know the best way to uh, cut uh, pancetta, like in a brick like that? I said, no. He says, put it in the freezer first for a little bit and get it really cold, and then when you pull it out, it cuts so much easier. And I never had thought of that. And I go, oh my goodness, that's an excellent idea. Oh, there's a snap pea in there. Oh, you can tell the difference? Yeah. The snow peas are thinner and snap peas oh, yeah. a little thicker, as you can see. But again, you can do the same thing with this just to prove it to you. You're just going to see the peas inside there a little bit differently. But anyhow, pretty interesting that uh, little hack he told me about. And I like that. So we're waiting for that water to come up and once that water comes up I'm going to salt it with about two tablespoons of salt and then I'm going to put in my uh, spaghetti. Now tonight I'm actually not, I didn't have any regular spaghetti in my pantry. I had thin and I just didn't want to use thin so instead I've opted to use a box a pound of uh, fettuccine because I sort of like a thicker noodle anyhow uh, when I'm doing um, uh, pasta dishes alone really. Um, I do use that thin stuff for some things but not for this and so that's it. There we go. We got that all done. So that's that and uh, I think what I'm going to do actually is put that in here and we'll be using that in a little bit. I just want to show you how we put all this together. So I'm going to let this water boil and then I'll come get it doing a little bit more prep and then I'll come back to you and we'll show you how we begin to put this whole thing together. Okay, two tables, uh, uh, water's boiling, excuse me, two tablespoons of salt. There we go. And you, yeah, I love that because it makes the uh, pasta really salted and makes it good. And then I'm doing this whole pound of fettuccine. So just to let you know, we're going to make what would probably be enough here in this recipe for six people. It's so obviously you can easily do it for a company if you're having company over or if you have a little bit larger family or whatever the case may be. This would be a fun thing if you had the adult kids back for dinner one night or something. I think they would really enjoy it. You add a salad with it or maybe even a fruit salad of some sort would be good. I hadn't thought about that. By the way, Susan, while you were gone, I really did a surprise for you. Oh. Uh, I found some rhubarb at the store and I made Ooh. us a homemade a fresh rhubarb pie Wonderful. for tonight. So you can tell those women that you meet with that uh-huh, uh-huh, that you are well, <laughs> you're a kept woman. Yes, <laughs> really. <laughs> kept woman. Okay, we're going to let that go. Uh, Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. And we're going to let this go for eight minutes. It will not cook it all the way, but I'll show you what we're going to do in eight minutes. And we'll come back in just a second. And while you're waiting, I'm going to get these sliced, my scallions, sort of on a real angle and make them look really nice and easy to eat here. Okay, part of how you get this thing ready, I want you to take the biggest bowl you've got in your uh, repertoire and fill it with hot tap water. 
And all I'm wanting to do here is I'm wanting to get this bowl hot because in a moment this is where we're going to make our uh, carbonara sauce with the eggs and the cream and this hot in the bowl will help cook it. So I'm filling this up with that hot, hot tap water and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So just get this ready while that's cooking and then put this to the side. We'll show you what happens next. Um, Alexa's getting ready to give me the yell. I wanted to show you a couple things I forgot. Get yourself a lemon. Um, I always like with pasta dishes like this, the zest, the tang, uh, this, the uh, tartness of lemon. I'm doing some lemon zest from one lemon and I'm gonna use the juice a little bit later on, but I'll show you. Forgot to tell you about that thing. Here's what I want you to do right now. I want you to take and get for yourself some of this pasta water and reserve it. Oh, you don't need a whole lot, but right about there and reserve that over to the side. And while that's uh, going still strongly, I want you to go ahead and put your asparagus in and put your snow peas in. And then make sure you do all, you know, get them all mixed around in there. Let them cook. That's good. And put your peas in. There we go. And we're just going to let that cook for about another three minutes. Alexa, stop timer, set a timer for three minutes. Pour out the water that you had in that hot water in there. And I want you to put in your eggs. And I want you to put in, Alexa, stop. I want you to put in a half a cup of heavy cream and begin to mix this up and in addition I want you to put in here if you would about a quarter cup of this um, hot pasta water and that's going to help cook the eggs and get them ready oh man that is going to be so good and we're going to come back in just a minute and I'll show you what we do with all of this Okay, the pasta is all done. You can tell it's now beautiful, cooked, al dente. We're gonna turn this off and we're gonna drain everything, all the vegetables and the pasta together. Alexa, off. Here, need help? Nope, I'm good. Thank you for asking. And what we're going to do is immediately, we're going to put it into this cream, egg, and hot water mixture. And we're going to begin to stir all of that around and get that sauce. Um, ooh, that was a little hot there. And I want some of those, there we go. <laughs> and where's my spoon? And get that all stirred around so that all of that pasta is coated. Wow, it's got egg in it. Yeah, you know, that's the carbonara. That's cool. Oh, that is going to be so good. Yeah, that's off. Good. Mm -hmm. And you just want that all mixed around like that. And if it seems to be getting a little uh, uh, stiff or uh, not as creamy, just add a little bit of that reserved pasta water. And that's what it's there for. Mine's doing really well. And I'm going to do this for a minute or two because I want everything coated really nicely. And then once that's done, I'm going to add about three quarters of a cup of uh, the uh, Parmesan cheese in it that I've got over here, all grated, ready to go. I'm going to add my scallions in there that I've got cut right there. I'm going to, and I haven't done it yet, I'm going to add some chives in. Oop, thank you. These are from my garden. And I'm going to add the pancetta in. And this meal is going to be done. Doesn't it look delicious with all that green in there? It really does. Oh, my goodness. And this is just the way we're going to do it. I've never seen a carbonara at a restaurant. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. With vegetables? Not with vegetables. This That's is a little I mean. rift on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've sort of got that all mixed around, Let's put in our scallions. Let's put in our um, cheese. Here's that over here. And I even got some extra cheese that we can put on top here when we're done. And let's put in our pancetta and begin to once again mix all of that around. And that is 
is what's going to make things so delicious. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. Yeah. The only other thing I'm going to add, because I'm going to taste it, is I'm going to add some salt, and I'm definitely going to add some cracked black pepper on there before we call it done and ready to serve. And again, see how that, that sauce is just coating everything so beautifully? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I put this in too, I like that. Some of that zest. And I'm gonna do some lemon here too. That makes it really good. That's a big lemon. It <laughs> is. I think I'm only gonna do half of this lemon and we'll just do like this. There we go. Mm hmm And let me just stir that around. Oh man, that, just nothing gets better than that. Now let's just put some black pepper on that real quick. You talk about like a midweek meal or even a Sunday afternoon meal uh, in the oh, summertime. This is just perfect get home from church or wherever you synagogue or wherever you've been or if you didn't go and you make yourself a great meal here we go and this is it certainly on a weekday maybe when you're working it's easy to come home and get this done just remember to as best you can use fresh stuff and you can use frozen peas here but honestly if I were you I would um, did you no, I you had, had fresh, fresh peas, yeah, and they had them at the store, so I said, ah, I'd rather do that. But frozen would work just as well as, yeah, there, let me just see. Whoop, I missed you. Mm. <laughs> mm. I was looking at the food instead of the camera. That's okay. Just a little salt. I missed your drib dribbling of oh, the my noodles. Goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. Susan, you're going to love this. Looks good. Yeah. I'll tell you what else would be is these chives in here. Let me just cut these real quick. Suppose you could put some parsley in here. You could do a number of things. I even thought about what would be like to add some tomato, but I don't think I'd cook the tomato. I'd add it right here at the end. Just some tomato pieces and let it just get warm naturally from uh, what you've done here. There we go. Mm. That is a very green pasta. That's nice. Oh, I wonder if my mother would have liked this. <laughs> I was thinking of your mother. Well, I'm just being a good He's thinking of you, mother. <laughs> good, being a good son, that's all it is. Hey. <laughs> now that is good, you got to admit. It Wonderful. looks good. It's going to be good. This is how they do it at the restaurant for you. They twist it like this. Oh, is that what they do? Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So, there it is. I didn't even talk to you about the parenting stuff. I'll do it next time. I was having too much fun with this. There's two meals for us. Oh, my goodness. one to make and I'm telling you it's out the charts with taste. So go ahead, try it for yourself. Let me know what you think. Tonight everybody in the house is happy. Plus you get this and rhubarb pie. If you're in the neighborhood come on over.